Hello, this is Pastor Mark Taylor with Taylor Global Missions, and I want to bring you a short three-minute devotional. I would like to talk to both of us today about loving one another with our words or using our words to be a blessing to others. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, 21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. It also says, set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth and keep the door of my lips in Psalms 141, 3. So God is encouraging us to, to use our mouth and use our words to be a blessing to other people. And I'm hoping that uh, today you will think about uh, your words. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 24, Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. And you know you can bring good health, you can bring encouragement to other people simply by using words. It's simply by being a blessing and saying positive things and encouraging and uplifting things. It also is in Proverbs 15.1, a soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Even when someone is angry, if you'll use soft words, you can be a blessing to them and help them calm down and and uh, use what God has given you to be a blessing to other people. There are many negative stuff going on in the world, and you may be the only bright spot that some people experience. You may be the only person today that, that tells that cashier or tells uh, that person waiting on you uh, at wherever you eat that you appreciate the job that they're doing. So I would encourage you today to, to look at uh, what you're saying, uh, think about how God can use you to, to, to lift up the spirits of other people. The Bible says we're to love one another. And loving one another involves a lot of different things. But one of the things that can be used to love one another is words. Jesus said in Luke 6.45, A good person out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. And an evil person out of the evil treasure of their hearts brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. So let's examine our hearts and put good things in our hearts. So when we do speak, good things will come out of our mouths. Take time to read your Bible. Take time to read positive books. Take time to talk to positive people. And be a blessing to other people today. Again, you are a vessel that, uh, that God wants to use. You are Jesus' feet, you are his hands, but you're also his mouth. So be a blessing today and encourage other people, and God bless you.